Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fur video. We're going to have a look at the weather for the next 10 to 14 days. Well, today's fur video, day 10, will take us to 24th May. And we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS and ESEP ensembles. Maybe we'll try in a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. And that gets us uh, well into the early part of June. And I shall get on that for you in a moment. Just save that first. The video of the day was our 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. And uh, we've also released the EC Extended uh, first day look at as well for the UK and for of Europe too. Please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everybody for doing that for Gav's weather vids. Thank you so much everyone. Um, right, we're going to start off with the temperature. temperature. CT is uh, currently sitting at 14.1. Uh, That's 3 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average. That is provisional to yesterday to the uh, 13th of May, turning into another uh, very warm, if not exceptionally uh, warm, uh, May so far. You may see that ticking down over the coming days. Um, right, so uh, these are the 500 middle bar high summary flow charts from Penn State University for the next uh, week to 10 days. We've got the ECM WF on the top and the GFS is down here on the bottom. 500 millibars, 80,000 feet. It's an area in the atmosphere, high pressure, low pressure, and being moved around by the jet stream running above. Red, extrapolate orange, well, red, extrapolate to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue to below average heights, which is low pressure. So the ECM in the 7 to 10 day time frame has high pressure towards Scandinavia and weak pressure, maybe even a trough of low pressure in the Atlantic to our west and also to our south. So despite having like a ridge up towards Scandinavia, it could actually be a rather showery and a mixed setup. The GFS is very similar, um, but a little bit stronger with the ridge maybe um, to our northeast. So very still troughiness. Trophy, that's that word. Um, going on in the in, in the Atlantic to our west and also down here to the south. But I think that might be a little bit stronger with that area of high pressure up there over Scandinavia. So they're both going for sort of uh, a Scandinavian high and almost uh, setting up northern blocking actually. Um, in the seven to ten day time frame, have a look at the charts in a moment. Now, these with GFS, upper air temperature, and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks. The red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average or Norwich, looking at Norwich today. And you can see that we're going to be saying above average with the upper air temperatures for the next week anyway, uh, probably for the next 10 days even. Um, no, not as warm as it has been, but still generally both temperatures holding up in an above average fashion. We do see signs of them starting to revert closer to average maybe as we go through the final week of May, although there is quite a lot of scatter within that, it has to be said. So uh, we've got some quite chilly on some of the members showing up down here, but we also have a uh, quite warm and even relatively hot on some of the members showing up up there. So um, quite a bit of scattering to the last week of May, but certainly the next week, 10 days anyway, looking solidly above average, even if a little bit less so than it has been. So we might see the central temperature ticking down a little bit over the coming days, but uh, it won't tick down by much. So it looks like to me we're going to get a 13 Celsius CT finish here. So it's going to be um, uh, uh, at least a 30 Celsius CT finish at least. Um, no, it does look like it's going to be another uh, very, very mild month indeed. <coughs> <coughs> so, sorry everyone, precipitation-wise, we see quite uh, a few rainfall spikes here, really. So, no sign of it settling down for a, a, a prolonged um, period. We, we may get a day or two here and there of the drier weather, but overall, it looks like things will be staying quite showering over the next couple of weeks as well. Temperature anomalies from the 14th, 22nd of May, above average. And precipitation anomalies from the 14th, 22nd of May, driving average in north, a little bit wetter than average down in the south. So, again, that is indicative, of course, of high pressure up over Scandinavia. And so, um, and the trough sort of down here, around here, and here. So, that brings the most unsettled weather into the south, of course, while the north tends to be more dominated by the high pressure over scanning. Right, this average wind from map is joining from EarthNorthSchool.net. We've got low pressure sitting just to our southwest uh, today. And that's bringing uh, more unsettled weather. There's a weather from that's through the country. Dying of death at the moment, but it did bring quite a wet start to central and eastern regions. 
Okay, so let's start going through the chart day. To then start with UK bet euro rub for midnight on Friday. Chop of low pressure then is sitting over uh, the country and, and up into Scandinavia as well. So not showering at the very least. As we go through into Saturday and Sunday, we find pressure rising to the west and also to the north east. So we're trying to go to high pressure, but this trough here sitting across Europe, it's centred over the um, over Germany, the low country, but it is sort of dominating most of Western Europe. Uh, that's keeping the south rather showering. Into next week, perhaps signs of heights trying to rise. Certainly with grading, it's going very slack. Um, I think we're still very close to a trough, though, down across the south and the south east that will bring further showers there at times. I can't. Again, with this low pressure just to the south on Friday, um, into the weekend, what a ridge trying to build to the northwest. Uh, so that trying to settle things down for the north. The south probably still staying quite showery, though. And then on into next week, again, we see signs of pressure building to the north. Bit of a hint of northern blocking here with Icon up towards Greenland and Iceland. Still with this trough of low pressure just generally covering much of Western uh, Europe. And the south of the east probably still getting showers from that as well. Uh, KMA still not working properly today. So we go on to the uh, GFS midnight run. And on Friday, we've got uh, low pressure to the south, high pressure trying to build up to the north. We go into the weekend. We've got this ridge in the Atlantic trying to push up towards Scandinavia. Chop is cross France to low country. That will bring further showery conditions there at times. And then on into next week, again, we see uh, high pressure centres over Scandinavia. Keeps northern regions probably main dry. Still this chop that we can't shake off across western parts of Europe. We'll keep south and the east quite showery, I think. And we actually bring in a little area of low pressure from the east for the middle part of next week. So you see this trough here, that actually develops into an area of low but pushes in from the east. Probably bring some very wet weather if that came off through the middle part of next week. We go through today 10. No high pressure of Scandinavia. Most of the country under some sort of shallow trough type feature. It's a complex pattern, but I think the GFS is pretty unsettled actually through much of next week. Beyond that, though, we go into the bank holiday weekend and we start raising the heights a little bit more strongly. So I think on this GFS from the bank holiday weekend sees a pickup and we find the temperatures lifting up and becoming drier and warmer and then that takes us through to the end of the gfs big night rub where um we're still sort of just about under a ridge but it is um uh being uh, sort of pincered on either side so we've got a fungi load developing down towards the bay of biscay and we've got uh, low pressure deepening around ice as well so uh, i think the days of that little ridge there would be numbered by these uh lows to the north and also to the south but it's over two weeks today, so not worth worrying about right gfs 6 then once again with that area with low pressure over France to our south on Friday. Again, got rich high pressure uh, building to the north. And we go into the weekend, keeping the uh, trough going in the south. Actually, it's further shower conditions there. Meanwhile, further north, there should be quite a bit of dry weather close to the proximity of this little ridge in the Atlantic. Into next week, signs of northern blocking building towards Greenland and Iceland. Still, this trough of low pressure across Western Europe, though. So, if anything, probably turning a little bit cooler through the middle part of next week, with winds pushing into more of a north easy direction, mainly dry, even though probably still rather showering in the south again with uh, this, uh, you know, um, trough here, but we just can't quite shake off. On into the extended range, this GFS will then start setting up low pressure um, down to our southwest again as we go into Bank Connolly weekend. So, nowhere near as settled for the Bank Connolly weekend on this GFS. Best running back turn increasingly unsettled as we move through to the final stages of May with uh, low pressure really taking over big time by the end of the month. So going from showery to wet conditions through the bank holiday weekend and up to month's end. If you're enjoying the video, and why wouldn't you be, please please like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals or whether it's going to everybody for doing that for us. Thank you so much, everyone. That's awesome. Uh, we need to put on around 30 subscribers to get ourselves to 18.2k. So if you could give us a sub, that'd be absolutely incredible. And we'll thank you so, so much for doing that. Right, GM, once again, with uh, low pressure, a bit further north was actually on Friday. Centred over England, where being further unsettled conditions, Ben. Into the weekend... 
Low pressure seems to our south and east, a ridge building out to the west and the north. And then on into next week, again, we've got high pressure to the north, low pressure to the south, well, a trough to the south, um, bringing further showers this to England and Wales, should be mostly dry, though, up to the north. And then we head up towards days 8, 9, 10. And, um, well, you know, are we under high pressure? Are we under low pressure? There? I think it's just about under a ridge by that point, heading into back on the weekend, but it's a fungi low <laughs> that could push northwards from the south. This is quite complex weather patterns to have to interpret, I have to say, but quite indicative of the time of year. You do get these sort of slack, choffy, ridgy, are they one thing or the other um, type patterns in, in May, you know, it's, it's that sort of month for that. So, um, no, it's all quite typical at the time of year, but they are always quite difficult patterns to interpret. The UCM, once again, looking like this, uh, low pressure south, high pressure northwest on Friday, bringing showery conditions in to weekend on into next week the heights try to build um through the north anyway being quite a bit dry weather but the south remains close to this trough both to the south and also this trough in the atlantic as well um and then on into the weekend on into the uh, second half next week i should say um, now, are we under a ridge or a trough there? <laughs> I think we're under a trough, uh, more or less, despite high pressure below in Scandinavia and in the Atlantic. So, it all looks rather slack. It all looks rather showery, I think, as we're pushing through next week. And not overly warm either, but still probably a bit above average. This is your precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibetshow.com. Band of heavy rain was across the country this morning. That's breaking up now into showery bursts. More showers into the east, though. As we go through tonight and into tomorrow. So those could be rather heavy. Um, and then into the uh, last stage of this week. Heavy shower, particularly focused on England and Wales. Some further northwards. They could merge into dog spells of rain as well. More heavy downpours into the weekend. Um, and then we go through into the early part of next week. So a little bit drier. Well, some showers in the south. But Joe turning a little bit drier into the early part of next week. That does not last for long, though. Those showers start becoming more widespread again. Perhaps hints, hints of some heavy fungi showers and downpours as well as we go on through next week. And um, further downpours up towards day 10. Uh, likely, these are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10. Gets us to the 24th of May. 15 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure to our north and northeast, bringing in the wind from an easy direction. Uh, we know pressure is weak enough to be allowing showers at the very least down in the south. We've, that includes operation run as well, by the way. We've got 13 with low pressure just to our west, high pressure up towards our northeast. So that's sort of a showery type trough sitting in the Atlantic. We've got um, another 13 with low pressure centred over the top of the coach. Could be quite unsettled, and they've got tan with high pressure to the north, low pressure into the south, and winds coming in from the east. That would bring the uh, most showery conditions into more southern parts of the country once again. In two weeks' time, these are the options that we've got, and it gets us to the 29th of May. Ten members of the east end ensemble have some sort of shallow trough sitting over the top of the country. Uh, another 10 with high pressure between Scotland and Norway. So that keeps us in the easy flow. And pressure still probably weaker to be bringing showers into the south. 9 with high pressure away to the northwest. Winds coming in. Perhaps not from an overly warm uh, northeast direction, but uh, probably a bit drier with that. We've got 8 with high pressure in the Atlantic and to the northwest. Again, some sort of shallow trough seem to be around here. So that keeps things rather unsettled. Now, eight here uh, with quite strong high pressure right over the top of the country, more or less. So that probably is the most settled option. And then six has us under an area of low pressure. Of course, that's going to be very unsettled. So I would say day 10 and day uh, day 14, the, the, the majority option probably just to keep things rather showery dry for the south, driest weather up in the north. Temperatures a bit above average, but not excessively warm. And, um, and yeah, it looks like only that sort of second half to May. Uh, okay, let's have a look at the FSB2 and then we're done. These are 500 millibar high charge breakdown in sweet beers. The first sweet beer takes you on the 14th to 20th of May. The next week with high pressure to the north, to the west and to the northeast, but low pressure into the south. That brings the most unsettled conditions into southern regions. Week two will be the 21st to the 27th of May. Perhaps a bit more strong 
uh, with the high pressure uh, to the North East. So that could bring some dry weather even into South. The low pressure's gone down towards Spain and um, the Met by that point, rather unusually so. Uh, now, this will settle for all of us. This is week three. It's the 28th of May to the 3rd of June. High pressure looks like it's digging in right over the top of the country. So um, that would be dry and warm in all areas, I think. Week 4 is the 4th to the 10th of June. High pressure looks like it's going to retrograde, retrograde there, moving out into the Atlantic. And probably some sort of trough um, is developing through here with a dip in the jet stream, maybe. So uh, that could be turning cooler and more unsettled um, further on into June. But it is four weeks away, though so not worth worrying about at this point anyway. Okay, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for sure one for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gals and Webbies. And thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. 35, 30 to 35 subscribers. Oh, there I am. Um, <laughs> we'll get us to 18.2k. So it could give us a sub. That would be absolutely incredible. Thank you so much. Right, just start happening on our channel tomorrow. We're going to have a 6 m UK weather forecast. We will have our next installment of the. Uh, bank holiday countdown so we started those bank holiday updates yesterday update number two coming up tomorrow um we'll be looking at uh, the bank holiday weekend weather and uh, spring bank holiday weekend weather and there'll be a 10 to 14 day as always and i would say it won't be all that long for wednesday live streams come back i think we get those going again uh, probably into june wednesday live streams um after a break will be returning next month but uh, not tomorrow so tomorrow for 10 14 day will be a video upload right so we shall end it there you enjoy the rest of your tuesday and for this one that's all for now and thanks for watching